taking a venous blood sample. Sick babies often need several lab tests. If more than a milliliter of blood is needed, blood should be taken from a vein. This video will show you how to draw blood three different ways. With a needle, with a syringe and needle, and with a butterfly. First, let the caregiver know about the procedure, then wrap the baby snugly. Now, gather your supplies. Cotton balls, either a needle, 21 to 23 gauge, a butterfly, 23 to 25 gauge, or a syringe and needle. Add a labeled blood tube, Pour antiseptic on the cotton and remember your gloves. Before you start, wash your hands. The easiest way to draw blood on a baby is to use a sterile needle. Start by finding a good vein in the baby's hand. Then put on gloves. Make a circle with your fingers around the baby's hand. Clean the skin from the center, moving outward. Do this three times. Let the skin dry. Stretch the skin and hold it firmly. Then, taking a shallow approach, Insert the needle through the skin. The opening in the needle faces up. Barely move the needle just until you see blood coming. Hold the tube under the needle and gently squeeze the baby's hand to bring the blood. Here's another example of how to squeeze the baby's hand. This method cannot be used for blood cultures as it uses an open tube and so is not sterile. When you have the amount you need, remove the needle and cover the site with a cotton ball. Then, safely dispose of the needle. Here, we draw blood using a sterile needle and syringe. Find a good vein. Then, tie the tourniquet so you can easily release it. Put on your gloves. Then clean the skin well three times and let it dry. Stretch the skin and hold it firmly. Now insert the needle through the skin. The flashback of blood shows that you're in the vein. Pull back very slightly on the syringe and then continue to hold. Let the syringe slowly fill. Be patient. Pulling back too forcefully will collapse the baby's tiny veins and you will not get blood. Draw up the amount of blood you need. Release the tourniquet. Remove the needle and cover the site with a cotton ball. Fill the labeled tube and safely dispose of the needle.
The third way uses a sterile butterfly device. This is more costly, but like the needle, can be easy to maneuver. Find a good vein. Then tie the tourniquet so you can easily release it. Carefully clean the skin and let it dry. Hold the skin firmly and insert the needle. Move the needle slightly until you see a flash of blood in the tube to show that you're in the vein. Uncap the end of the device to draw the blood into the tubing. It then drips into the tube. In this second example, a syringe is attached to the tubing. Pulling up slightly on the syringe draws the blood into the tubing. Be aware, if it fills too slowly, it can clot. Let it fill the syringe until you have the amount of blood you need. Release the tourniquet. Remove the needle and cover the site with a cotton ball. Then safely dispose of the butterfly device. Remember, before you start, inform the caregiver, gather all your supplies, and wrap the baby snugly. Take a shallow approach with the needle. Be patient with the baby's tiny veins. A slight pull on a syringe brings the blood. Mm -hmm.